excuse the lighting in the car right now, but what's up, Facebook, YouTube, all the thank thank you all the uh, subscribers that I have to my uh, new I call it new it's a new YouTube channel. Um, basically, you know, I wanted to get into uh, operating life from a broken heart. Um, you know, sometimes you know when your heart is broken because you feel it. And then sometimes it's been broken so long, you're just used to riding. I mean, I'm talking about myself, actually. You get kind of used to riding the, um, you riding through life, you know, on that rough ride with the heart being broken. Um, it could be from relationships, definitely. Uh, it could be from a society standpoint. Um, it could, you know, this, this broken heart could have, could have started years ago. And, you know, uh, like I was, I was doing a study on, on the heart and everything. We're not talking about the, the, the actual organ or the biological rhythm of the heart. You know, you can't break that. That's an organ in your body. But what you can do, you you can do things to stop it from working. And then, you know, you know what kind of trouble that is. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the emotional, the broken heart. They call it a broken heart. But the, it's when the emotions are uh, disturbed due to li life circumstances. Uh, we call it, we refer to it as pain. Um, things of that nature. But let's get into it. So... Operating from a broken heart, man. Man. You travel through life. I know I have. I've, I've been in situations to where I was able to hide the pain. Um, except for people who had that real high discernment and they can see and know that, like, dude, what's the matter? Are you okay? Is everything all right? That's very few people, though. Very few people are going to uh, be close enough to you. Um in this lifetime uh, to see your pain. Um, thank God for the people that do or thank God for the people that can actually feel your pain and won't really say too much about it, but then they'll go and pray for you. But operating from a broken heart is a very, very um, difficult place to operate from. Um, we'll, we'll talk about solution in just one minute. I'm trying to really get this out the way I want it to come out. Um, but uh, operating from a broken heart is a slow, a very, very, I'm, I'm thinking of like driving a car with, uh, with like two bad tires or something like that. Or uh, driving a car with really, really low tires. Um, you're functioning, you can function, but it's a real, real, it's a real raggedy ride. Um, so solutions, what I had to do, man, I just had to, I had, I, I've spent a lot of time alone and it's not, that's part of having a broken heart too. You gotta, you know, sometimes you isolate yourself, which is, which isolation is good when you're isolating yourself on a spiritual level. You're getting with the creator, you're, you're talking, you're actually speaking out loud. Um, you're talking to God from a godly standpoint but then sometimes a broken heart can 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 cause you to isolate yourself from society um you're in society but you're not of it you don't you barely talk to people you spend a lot of time alone you're at home by yourself uh you do a lot of crying um and i'm not talking about the tears of joy um operating from a broken heart um you know it's a very sad way to live and this is why we do what we do to reach out to other individuals this is why we do what we do because us as mankind us as human beings um we know that pain doesn't feel good we know that operating from a broken heart and a broken spirit is is very hard to recover from you know and most people uh don't in a sense i've operated on a broken heart for years and you know like somebody driving down the street and they'll tell you like man do you know your tires are flat you you drive it like oh no I ain't. it's like operating from a broken heart somebody walk up to you and say man are you okay 
So, and then you you go your, your mind goes directly to what is happening. But I realize that in solution, I, I realize that um, most of the things that I felt like you know were broken, I could be the one to fix them. And a way, one of the ways to fix these issues was to just totally let it go. Th some things you have to let go no matter how hard it is. And even though you probably dabble with that situation or with that person just a little bit, trust me, in your, once your mind and your heart, once you spiritually let some things go, eventually it just vanishes. It just disappears. You know what I mean? And a state of gratefulness, that state of gratefulness that I talk about is definitely um, is definitely one of the ways that spirit of gratefulness, um, standing at a constant state of gratefulness, always thinking about the things that you have to be grateful for. That works. That's been the main one that worked for me. And just letting some things go, man. Not being afraid to let people go. Not being afraid to let some things go. Sure, the broken heart is lonely and the process to healing can be lonely too. You know, the process to healing yourself can be very lonely, but um, it's something about the spirit of the divine that 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 comforts you while you're walking through certain paths in life. You know what I mean? A broken heart is very serious. And a lot of us, a lot of us have walked around for many years with it. One one of one of the um, one of the the uh, the uh, defects to a broken heart is temperament you uh men show theirs in anger you're angry all the time you're in traffic you're taking out your anger in traffic you're having car accidents because you're taking out your anger in traffic um you may be using some type of drug that you would normally use uh over drinking um you know things of that nature but in, in a man's in, when it comes to a man most of the time it's anger you don't you 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 know that you're not even that type of person but you're angry all the time and you're taking this anger out on other individuals and then you get to yourself and you be like man why did i do that why did i just yell at this person how did i almost get into that fight with this person and 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 two people with broken hearts merging together on on some violent stuff it's, it's it can be a horrible situation and we all know what can happen from that that's a long street you know what i mean so um, solution is gratefulness, prayer, fasting, um, calling those people who broke, who, who you felt broke your heart or who you feel, you know, have done you wrong or you have wrong calling them, um, apologizing, um, you know, and if the conversation get towards the start going into that argument state, just say, I'm gonna hang up now. Because, you know, you get into you get into exercising that muscle of not arguing with people no more and you feel much better. You feel like a, a different type of human being. It's like, you know, I'm not arguing with human beings no more. So, you know, but sometimes those emotions get 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 get, get the best of you, but you start catching yourself more faster and, and, and you just don't you know, you don't want to argue with people, you know, and growth is very necessary. That's another one. Growth. Learning. I'm learning a lot about different things about life. And I'm studying a lot. So, and, and it's good. It feels good because it's touching me in places where I needed healing. Um, like, 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 like I was talking about the car being on flat and, and, and the, the, the neighbor in the next car t hunk their horn and say, man, do you know you have flat tires? You're rolling on flat tires and you have no idea. Um, I use that analogy to, uh, in, in, in reference to our hearts and how we, how we operate on a broken heart. And, and we wonder like, what is going on? Why am I acting like this? Why, why, why am I, uh, you know, we've, especially for the light workers who've done so much to, 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 um, to make this difference in their life to be, you know, you becoming a different person, which means you don't think the same way. You don't do the same things that you used to do. So you're becoming this new person. And at the same time, the sometimes it's the last thing you have to do is check the heart and start releasing things, letting people go, letting things go, uh, using your gifts, operating out of your gifts, going to the gym, 
exercising, eating right, loving yourself, you know, really loving yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody's going to love you like you. People are come and go out your life, um, come in and out. But nobody's going to love you like you have to love you. And what's loving you? Being grateful and eating good, going to the gym. I don't care how young or old you, they say you are. Enjoying your life and not feeling guilty about it. Because what a broken heart does is it make you feel, and this is the last thing I'm going to say, what a broken heart does and can be very capable of is, uh, is uh, allowing you not to feel good about enjoying yourself. You feel guilty about having fun. So be careful from that. Heal from a broken heart. Gratefulness. God bless you.